Hello and welcome to Biotechnica video on what has changed in CSIRnet June 2018. I am your host Shekhar and I am going to guide you across what has changed and how to apply. So in the first part of this video I am going to talk about what exactly has changed which you must read carefully. So the, there are around 10 things which uh, has changed so you must watch this video till the end and before you apply because these 10 things which has changed in the application format is uh, very very crucial and there are 5 hardly to notice changes in the eligibility criteria okay and uh, also uh, there is introduction of online payment for the first time so people who are not used to do that uh, I'll show you how to do exactly that thing now this video will just take 5 minutes of your time and can save a lot of trouble later so I suggest you watch till the end so uh, what are the changes in eligibility uh, so these things are not uh, from this time but these things you should be knowing a bachelor's degree holder cannot apply for a lecturership so that's the first thing you should be knowing the second thing is you can activate your fellowship within two years of qualifying so if you qual qualify in the year 2018 you must activate before 2020 to be eligible for the fellowship now you only have 24 21 days starting from 5th march to apply for this exam and candidates with bachelor degree will be eligible to apply for csr fellowship only after getting registered or enrolled in the phd okay and you must activate within two years okay so that's the validity now phd degree holders who have passed msc degree prior to 19 september 1991 I repeat 19th September 1991 with at least 50% marks are eligible to apply for lecturership only. So you cannot apply for a JRF if you have done your masters before 1991. So that pretty much is obvious because obviously you will not be able to suit the age criteria. Now let's uh, move to the new process to apply. So you must write your name and your parents name as per your class 10th mark sheet. Don't write uh, the changed name only if you are married female and you, your name has changed and you have a certificate to prove that your name has changed then only you should be doing this okay now the second point uh, later on they are not going to accept the change so before you uh, click the final submit button you must be sure whatever you have filled okay and the best part is it's not that you are filling and you know uh, if the time is more than 40 minutes you, you it gets uh, cancelled instead you will just get log out and you can log in again and continue wherever you left off so that's something very good about it this time now after su successful submission of online application you will get application number which you must keep it safe so this is one mistake people do they don't save the application number take a printout and save it in your email as a soft copy also that will help you now your email id and password please keep it very very safe okay for future reference now uh, you this time you need not send any kind of hard copy so this is a very good thing which csir has done so there is a push for digital payments and no hard copy should be sent by any candidate to csir net okay only in some cases you need to upload the documents which i will be showing you later so now before 26th march you must apply so you have to be ready with your <coughs> passport size photograph i'm going to show you how to uh, get the correct uh, format for passport size now uh, you have to also get a scanned signature so just take a uh, sign on a, a blank piece of paper okay and take a photo of that and how to get the correct format i'll show you now also the qualifying degree certificate you must have it in pdf and the correct um, file size which i'll show you now category certificate if it is applicable pwd certificate if it is applicable all these things you must have or and the attestation certificate if in case you are up, up, appearing for this uh, final exams of msc and uh, please make sure that the size file size should not be more than 400 kb so now that we are uh, ready to apply so my suggestion is uh, go through this video again and again and then only apply okay so do not apply more than once and csr will not send you any individual in, uh, intimation by any mode to you uh, for uh, you know applying or uh, you know any confirmation so 
uh, now you can watch my next part of this video where I am going to show you how to resize your photo, how to uh, generate the certificate in the correct format and I am going to also show you how to apply step by step. So let's move to the next part. Alright, so now we are back to the CSIRnet website. If you actually see this particular website link is available here. So you have to just click here and you get to this website. Okay, so the first thing you have to notice is exam date is 17th, but the online application they've extended by three more days, I guess. So now it is 26th March. So all you have to do is click on register here. Okay, so once you click, you'll get this form. You have to fill all the details. Okay, so once these details are filled, you have to click on submit and uh, your account is pretty much generated. That's very simple, just like how you sign up on a regular website. Okay, so once you have done this, you will be getting an OTP on your mobile number as well as your email ID. The same OTP you can enter and your account will get activated. Okay, so now that I have already activated this particular. Um, um, account so I'm going to show you how exactly it works okay so let us enter the password right. here we go now if in case you forgot the password you can always click on forgot password and you should be getting the link to regenerate your password so once you have logged in this is where uh, you can see now you have to click on applied for as per whatever you wish to apply. Now if you want to apply for both JRF and lecturership you can choose this. That is what I advise to all my aspirants. Always apply for JRF and lecturership unless your age limit has crossed. Okay. So um, for me I will choose lecturership. Now select the subject. Pretty simple. Here if your sub specialization matches any of these choose these otherwise choose others so say for example I am food, from food tech suppose so I'll write food technology okay then I have to choose my center I'll choose Bangalore now which particular exam medium obviously English now, now I can put my details here okay and the phone number right so let me just type a number Okay, so put the gender, put your father's name, put your mother's name. In case of married females, you can put your husband's name. Now comes the date of birth. So here you have to first click. See, if you try to click here, it will not take the uh, age. So click on March 20, this particular link. So it will take you to 2018. Definitely you were not born in 2018. So click again. Now you see here. Now click again. You will. You were most probably born somewhere in 1984 to 1995 suppose. So you can click on this. Now you can choose the respective year. Okay. So let us choose some random date. Okay. So now I choose my category. Now this particular age will be automatically uh, picked up. Okay. Now this is not applicable for me. Okay, I have filled these details right now. Same as mailing address, qualifying degree. So let me put MSc. Now it will ask me which particular month or year I passed out. So let me say 2016. Suppose I passed in June. So I'll put this now. Obtained marks. Suppose my marks was 98%. Okay, maximum marks was suppose 150. Just giving you an example. Now qualifying degree. This is bachelor's degree. Now if I have done bachelor's this late obviously I have not done masters. So let me um, okay. So ideally I should change this. Okay, let me put it as 2012 May. Okay. Now let me put my qualifying degree. Let me put as 2017 May and duration. So it was supposed two years duration. Right and university, so you can always put say Bangalore University. Okay, now definitely the result is not awaited. Right now comes the real part upload scanned photograph, upload scanned signature, and upload qualifying degree certificate. Okay, 
Now, how exactly it works is, it should be in this range. Your signature, your photograph should be in this range, right? So let me uh, take a random photo and try to upload. All right. So what I've done is I've opened my photograph, a sample photograph here. And now I'll show you how to resize. All you have to do is click on resize, go to pixels and put the data. So it says 116 to 130. So let's make it 130. Right. So this is the requirement here 130 into 160 so we can always change it back 130 into 160 so let's make it 130 into 160 so see you have to change it to 160 okay so this is suppose the sample is ready i'll just click on this and click on sample right now it is it needs to be in JPEG format while my image was in PNG format. So let me save it. Save as instead of PNG, take JPEG. Okay. Now, nothing to worry. It has been saved. Now select it. Choose the JPEG. Fine. My photo has come. Now, the signature. So it, the signature must be in this 90 to 25. So let me just assume that this is my uh, signature also so i'm just showing you example 90 into 75 so okay this is what it is let's save it and then we go here again sample. okay now the pdf file which it is asking me so it should be say 400 right so we select it suppose i will just quickly go and put the pdf let us see okay so it needs me to select a pdf okay now why it is saying because there should be no spaces in the file name okay so what i should be doing i will show you so let us say so make sure the file name should be just one word dot pdf okay and that should do the trick so let's Okay, it says I'm not eligible because my qualifying marks. Okay, so let's make it because I'm not eligible here. So let's make it out of 100. So that should make me eligible. Okay. So let me choose the... Right, so I have saved the thing and now it is there to preview now it says it seems you have entered invalid character detail now let us see where exactly i have entered the invalid character so here i didn't add, add any uh, valid so the hashtag is not being accepted so let me remove that maybe the dashes also are sometimes not accepted so let me just remove that quickly okay so now it is asking me to upload again let me do that again okay so i have submitted the details and this is the page which it shows now it says that i need to pay the fees before due date so unless i pay the application number will not be generated so i have to just go and review this now i still can go and edit so do not click on final submit and proceed for fee payment unless you're sure about it okay so once you're sure about it you have to just click on final submit and proceed for fee payment and it's just thousand rupees you should be taken to a payment gateway and you should be able to now, if in case you require any kind of assistance regarding online payment, and if you are a Biotechnica student, Biotechnica has created a special help desk to all the students who are enrolled with us for coaching. So they can always approach the center manager as well as any of the teachers and they'll guide, or they can direct you to the uh, supervision team who will help you do this and make the payment. Okay. And if you are not a Biotechnica student, this is the right time to be a biotechnical student we are starting fresh batches in the next seven to eight days uh, feel free to contact us on the phone numbers right now reflected on your screen all the best and see you soon on the other side of the exam with a jrf or als all the best and thanks a lot for watching this video